Welcome to New Cash Quick Start Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be talking about how to install New Cash. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. To install New Cash on your computer, visit the official New Cash website at newcash.org. Here on the website's welcome page, you will find the download section. As you can see here, New Cash is compatible with various operating systems, including Linux, Windows, and Apple Mac. And if you look on the bottom of the screen, you will find that the program also supports earlier operating systems. Select the appropriate version for your operating system. Since I'm using Windows 10, I will select Windows 10 by clicking on the download link. Once you make your selection, the file will begin downloading to your computer. If you're using a Chrome browser, you should see the download in progress on the bottom of your screen. Once the download is complete, locate the executable installer file on your computer. It should be in your Windows download folder unless you selected a different location for your downloads. Double click on the installer executable file to run the program. As with any new program you install on a Windows computer, Windows security may pop up with a warning message that the publisher could not be verified or is unknown. Click run or yes to continue. The installation wizard guides you through the installation process. On the first screen, you will see the language selection dialog box with English selected by default. If you need a different language, click on the drop down arrow and select it. Then click on OK to continue. The next page, information, here is the license agreement, which is a good idea to read it. Then click on Next to proceed to the next screen. On the Select the Destination Location screen, you have the option of where you want to install the program. By default, it will install new cache under your program files, which is fine. You can leave the default settings as is and select Next to move to the next screen. The next screen, Select Components, will show the full installation that will be installed on your computer. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it specifies how much free space in megabytes you need on your computer to install the selected features. The only feature that's necessary is new cache, and that's grayed out so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. The other two features, if you're not sure if you need them or not, it's better to just leave the default features selected and click next to continue. On this next screen, select start menu folder. The program wants you to select where to create the program's shortcuts, which you can just leave the default location. I just like to keep things simple. I let the program do its thing and it works out just fine because unless there's a particular reason you have for wanting to make any changes, it's not necessary you can select next to continue. Same thing with this next screen. Select additional task screen. It gives you the option of having the program create a desktop icon and a start menu link for you. Leaving these items checked can save you time searching for the program to start it since the program will install a shortcut on the desktop and in your start menu for you. You can just click on next to continue. On this last page before installation, ready to install is simply a recap of all the selections made by you so far. Here you can look over your selections and if you're satisfied, you can click on install to start the installation process. Here we have another information screen. You're asked to read it, which offers you information about the program including help that's available. Once you're finished reading it, you can select next to continue. 
on the completing the new cache setup screen you can select finish to finish the installation now you should be able to see new cache installed on your computer by default you should see the shortcut start menu icon on your desktop as long as you left that option checked during installation if for some reason you don't see it look for the new cache icon in your Windows Start menu. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.